OK, so one last question, une dernière question. Oui, ça va être Brendan Kelly hey, de la Gazette. Ça a été Gazette. trop vite, allô? Oh. Ah, bonjour, Céline, comment ça va? Mais ça va très bien, toi aussi. Oui, oui. Pourquoi tu parles avec un accent de même? Mais parce que toi, tu as pratiqué ton français pas depuis toujours. Je <rire> n'ai pas d'accent, mais je demande la question en anglais. Il n'a pas d'accent. Je n'ai pas d'accent. Est-ce que j'ai un accent? Je suis très fier de toi. Mais merci beaucoup. Bienvenue. Okay, I'm going to ask it in English anyways. Now you've made fun of me. I'm hurt. No, not at all. I'm, I'm making fun with you. No, High no. five. I'm so proud of you, man. Okay, so just because you were a little difficult with me, I'll have a tough question. Excuse me, start again. Because you were a little difficult, I'll have a tough you question for you. I'm just kidding, Celine. When I Celine. tease people like this, because I love them. I know. And I, I love know you, you too. I so, know you. It's yes. not your first no, question no, to it, me. No. So, come Not on, even the second. It. In English, in okay. French, whatever. Okay, in English. I'll translate like to, anyway. I wanted to ask you about your personal life. What, what is well, my... Well, how, how are things going? I mean, it's like it's a whole new I'm world for you. You're a single woman. How, how, is, how is life Are you asking awesome? me out? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm ready. Wait. I'm ready. <laughs> Shine bright like a diamond. <laughs> Shine bright like a diamond. Shine right like a diamond. You and I, Unshamale, I'm alive. Let's go, Unshamale. <laughs> no, pas grande action là. Uh, that was great, but I mean, real seriously though. Seriously for what? Well, how is your personal life going out or what? I'm ready. I, we, where are you free tonight? I am free, free falling. <laughs> Uh, actually, no, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> but just talk about your life in general outside of work right now. And Are you reading like newspaper? Are you watching TV? I have no, no idea what's happening. No, you're like me. Exactly. Yeah. You know, I, I don't, um, I'm, I'm, I'm quite um, busy in a good way because now I choose what I want to do. First of all, I'm a f mom full time. I have a 16 and a half and three quarters year old son who can drive himself. He's almost 17. That's pretty scary. Take your time, it goes faster when you write. You write fast. No, 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 Did you, you should look at him when he writes. I think I'm gonna slow down. My oldest is 16 and a half years old. And he's driving his own car. <laughs> and that is pretty scary. <laughs> That's number one. Then, when I calm myself down, because he calls me and says, Mom, everything's fine. I'm home. And I'm about to go to bed. I'm like, yes. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> and when I think that this is over, I get to deal with the twins. Until last year, the twins wanted the same bags. The twins wanted to dress the same. The twins wanted to have the same haircut, no haircut. Now they have short hair, but they wanted to be exactly the same. Out of nowhere this year, no, it's over. Is Nelson going to take the brown shirt? Yeah, I don't want the brown shirt. I'm going to take the, the new brown the black. <laughs> so now they really want to be different, which is wonderful, by the way, because I want them to be themselves, independent. And they're six and a half years old. And I have to tell you that I really thought that by playing outside, first of all, when we live in Las Vegas during the summer, it's very hard for all of us who live there, especially for the kids, because it's above 100 degrees. Um, and whether you tell them, you want to go to the pool? For the last six years, you've been telling me you want to go in the pool. You have something else? So we throw, you know, balloons. And it, it, it's hard to find activities to keep them active. And they're boys. Boys, it's not like a girl that you sit down with crayons and Barbie dolls and she can stay in her house for like this area for like two hours. Boys is like every eight minutes they have to change. So they're very, 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 very active. So now they're into golf, they're into uh, a lot of sports. 
uh, they're into um, treasure hunting. And I have wonderful people. They have little things outside where they can uh, cook their own little sausage. We did a corn on the cup party. Um, we, uh, we have a little farm, so they go for the eggs every morning. They bring the eggs. What, what I do with my kids in general is that because I have many ways of expression through bags, on stage, um, with my musicians, with my team, with my family. But when you think about that, when I travel always with my, my, my children, those children won't go on stage. They're going to be two months in a hotel room. So when I pick my hotel rooms, for example, I don't look for the best necessarily Louis XV or the chandelier, the Marie Antoinette, which I love. But can you imagine they're going to break everything? Because they want to play like uh, golf. That would be bad. That would be very, very bad. So what I do is I, I try to find smaller hotels that accommodates uh, the fact that it's wooden floors so they can just play with softballs bowling or they can dance or they can really rooms that can be we can push the furniture i make the environment endurable and playable that's my goal and so i have fun on stage to have fun and because they don't want to go out a lot they don't like to go out why why would they go out they have everything inside of the hotels. They see, they go out for a museum once in a while, see a few things, La Mer de Sable, once, one, once they go once or twice, they want to go back and just play. But when we arrive here, suddenly it's like in nature. They see trees, they want to climb the trees. And then um, I did a little surprise for them this year. I said, can you please do La Forteresse Suspendue? They, want, they look... La, la guerre des Tucs et la forteresse suspendue. I don't know how to say that in English, but there's been two of the greatest Québécois movies that were done many, many years ago that my three kids have seen. And there's one movie that's called La forteresse suspendue. And um, so I wanted them to have a little bit of a, a miniature forteresse suspendue. Uh, don't get me wrong, I, did not, I didn't do it as big as the movie. Um, so la forteresse suspendue, so they, they play outside all day long, and I really think that they're going to be so tired tonight, so they're going to just, you know, crash and all that. Forget about it. Thank you. So I have no time. Well, I have to, I have to, I have to bathe them, and after bathing, they're so dirty, I have to get them a shower. <laughs> I keep them busy, and you know what, as a mom... I, I, I want to have a good time. I want to go out. And I did go out. And I had a good time. I, I, I have friends. I have partners. I have, you, you, you know, I had a good time in Paris. And I had a good time here. And I have a good time today. And who knows I'm going to have a good time tonight with whom? We don't know. Stay tuned. <laughs>